Hey guys, so um, I know I just posted and it's probably too early, but um, I'm going to continue with the K-18. Um, it's the next day. Um, I did some more research. Um, they want you to do six consecutive washes with the K-18 treatment. And then after the six initial washes, um, like the treatments, they want you to do um, every three or four for like maintenance. So I'm really out of breath from running up and down those stairs. Um, yeah, I just washed my hair and I'm going to do six days of washes. That's kind of a lot for washing my hair but I'm, I'm gonna do it. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna start applying it. I'm going to split my hair in half this time and try that. Um, so here we go. I'm kind of getting excited. My hair, like, I said that I felt the residue or whatever in my update, but then it's like, the longer I had it in, the less I really felt it. It just felt kind of soft. And then when I was washing my hair today, I couldn't tell if my hair just feels a lot more soft and manageable and like hydrated or if maybe my shampoo wasn't like stripping out everything but my hair didn't feel completely stripped and like dry after shampooing like it normally does like I normally feel like I need to condition and when I condition I leave it in for as long as possible and I didn't really notice that like, when I was wringing my hair out and stuff from all the water, it felt good and less straw-like, I guess. So, I'm kind of excited. I think it's actually working. I think I just needed to give it some time and kind of um, work with it. Like I told you the first time I did four sections and it felt like it was too much. And then yesterday I did two sections and it didn't feel so bad. This time I'm still doing two sections I'm also using less product now I'm just using one pump each side instead of last time I did one pump and like a tiny squeeze <laughs> just because I felt like one pump wasn't enough for each side but I don't know maybe it is I have pretty thin hair like thin fine hair um as you can see it's not like super short, but it's also not long either. I mean, for me, this is long. This is the longest my hair has ever been. Um, but yeah, no, I am. I'm getting excited. I feel like maybe I'm feeling a difference. But then I'm also like, is this just like. One of those things where they tell you you're going to feel a difference so you feel a difference I, f I forget what the word is it's almost like you know when you're talking about an itch and then all of a sudden you feel itchy or 
somebody says that, oh yeah, I feel sick. So then it's, oh yeah, you know what? I feel sick too. That kind of thing. I don't know. But... Okay, I think I've got it all coated and mixed in. Hopefully. So, leave this for four minutes. Um, then I'm going to do my normal leave-ins. Um, just because I feel like that helped last time. Uh, I'm not... Okay, I take it back. I'm not doing my normal leave-ins. Um, I'm going to do my It's a 10 and mixing that with the Foxy Bay 12-in-1 Magic. It's the daily leave-in hair mask. Um, I got this a while ago. Um, was it in BoxyCharm? I don't know. I canceled all my subscriptions, but I've been trying to use this up, so I tend to mix these two um, every once in a while. And then I am going to use my Argan Oil. And instead of my Olaplex, I'm going to try the Sol de Janeiro hair, the nourishing hair oil. Um, super tiny. It was my uh, free sample, I believe. Um, it was one of the offers from Sephora. So I got this. It kind of smells like the Bum Bum Cream, but it also smells a little different, too. It's a, it's a little strong. <laughs> but it, it, it's good. I mean, can't hurt. So I'm not going to do all of my stuff just because I'm washing my hair again tomorrow. So I'm not going to waste all of my Olaplex. Um, I think these will... Suffice, they're just adding moisture and stuff to the hair, so it's easier to brush. Um, and again, I'm just throwing it up in a claw clip when I'm done, so no big deal. Um, I've got like two minutes. Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna continue talking. So, this is really awkward, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm going to continue with this for, let's see, this is day three. So three more days. So it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Tuesday will be my last day. I don't think I'm going to film the way I'm doing it every day. Like, I think I'm just gonna do it the rest of the days unless I um, notice a major difference. Um, in that case, I'll probably just pop on and do like a random check-in, like, hey, I noticed this. Um, and I'll do that for the next couple days. And then probably Wednesday, I'll get on with my initial uh, full review like, hey, this actually worked, or, you know, I think I was right the first time. It's not actually all that, but I'm hoping that it actually works with how expensive it is. Yeah, I just, I, I'm hoping that it's a miracle product, like everybody says. I mean, maybe my hair is not as damaged as I think it is, so I won't notice a difference. That would be pretty cool. Um, I think there's like 50 uses in these, is what they say. So once I do my initial, um, treatments, I will probably pass this on to, um, my friend. She has super dense, heavy, 
full head of hair like it's I want thick hair but I don't want that thick of hair her hair is like four times the density of mine if not five it's a lot of hair so I'm going to give this to her to try um, the initial treatments and then we'll probably just pass it back and forth for the next ones. Um, oh, I didn't mention, she bleaches her hair and like she does a split dye where on top it's blonde, like bleach blonde, and then she dyes the underneath brown. And she bleaches it quite a bit, so it's really dry and damaged. So I'll test it on that and see, maybe it works better for her. Um, but yeah, my time is up. I can officially put on my stuff and I don't think you really want to see that. So I will talk to you guys in the updates. I'll just add them to this clip and then post it all Wednesday or Thursday. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys. So, um, just a quick update on the hair. Um, Look, he's getting petted. We just got done showering. Well, I showered him first and then I took a shower. Um, yeah, so it is day five. Hi, sweet boy. Um, sorry, I don't have it like set up with the light or anything. I'm just, yeah. Um, so I'm probably shaky. <laughs> But no, uh, today is day five of the K-18 treatment, and yesterday and today, I started, um, double washing my hair. I would, let's see, I did the head and shoulders, but it was a two-in-one. So I did that and let it sit for a few minutes, and then I went back with my normal shampoo and rinsed that out. Um, at first I started and I was just going to do, sorry, my arm's falling asleep. Oh, this hurts. Um, yeah, I was just going to do the head and shoulders because I thought maybe my shampoo was too moisturizing because on the website it says that they don't want any like conditioning elements in your hair. You want your hair to be stripped so that the K18 can penetrate it. So yeah, I did that. And then I did my normal shampoo to kind of rinse out any of the conditioner in the head and shoulders. Although I feel like the like two in one doesn't really have any conditioner in it because it always made my hair feel drier after using it than anything else. So I don't know, maybe tomorrow I will just use the head and shoulders. I'm not 100% sure, but um, so far I have noticed, well, more lack of noticing. Um, I haven't really noticed much change in my hair, to be honest. Like my ends are still really dry, like they're already pretty much bone dry um but like also my hair is sorry um drying quicker which I wasn't expecting that this is a really bad angle <laughs> oh, but this arm hurts it's fine um my hair is pretty soft I was expecting to completely hate it because of the no conditioning, but with my oils and stuff, it really hasn't been that bad. Uh, it seems to dry more tame. I know in the beginning I said that it was bringing back my curls. I think it was just, um, the fact that my boyfriend was here. Like, after, while well, my hair was drying and he tends to mess with my head or, like, roughhouse with me, so then, like, my hair is always tangled and stuff afterwards. 
that's like one of my pet peeves with him but it's fine um but yeah I just noticed all the curls like right here so then I was like oh that's weird okay that's that's gotta be but no like the next day when I did it my hair dried fine it wasn't like the super curls and stuff and I haven't really noticed any like wacky curls if anything my hair feels like it looks more tame and like um, before I said that I needed to wear it up to like get away from the like weird curl pattern that I have because I don't really like my natural curls they don't it's more just a frizzy poof than like a nice curl pattern but lately I noticed I was wearing my hair down more and it wasn't as messy looking or like unkept it kind of looked almost like beach waves um I don't know I kind of liked it so yeah uh tomorrow is my last day mm, I'm still gonna do it I don't know if it's actually like treated my hair but my hair seems healthier I guess I don't know clearly clearly it's up to you if you want to buy it or not like most people have most people are having great experiences with it I I don't hate it I don't love it so will I keep using it probably because I like I bought it so, I don't know. I will, like I said before, I'm going to give it to Sybil to try. Um, and then if we pass it back and forth, we pass it back and forth for like the maintenance. But then after this bottle runs out, will I repurchase it? Probably not. <laughs> Unless my hair is like... I don't know, completely destroyed. Like, I decide last minute, you know what, I'm gonna bleach the fuck out of my hair. Then I might try it again. <laughs> but, like, as of right now, after this bottle, I think I'm just gonna stick with my Olaplex. Because I'm not noticing a huge difference between the two. Like, the Olaplex did save my hair. It just took a longer amount of time to do, which was fine. Um... And like, even without the treatments and stuff, I probably won't stop using 6 and 7. Like, the leave-in and the oil are amazing. I love them. So, without the uh, number 3 treatment or the shampoo and conditioner, like, eventually I probably won't be using the shampoo and conditioner, which is fine. I normally use, um, Matrix, um... Damage control, I think is what it's called. It's the red one. Um, that's my everyday shampoo. But I don't, I don't need the Olaplex ones, so I, I wouldn't be spending a ton of money on it. So it's fine. <sighs> yeah. So you know, I keep moving. I, my arm hurts. Now I can't think of my closing thought. So, yeah, no. I like it. But it, it, it's not that big of a thing. Um, yeah. It's just a meh. Anyway, I think that's it. I don't know if I will post tomorrow or not. Like, show the results tomorrow. Maybe I will. Just, like of showing my hair down and like how it looks dry so yeah but as of right now these are my closing thoughts I, it, it's a med product I'm glad that other people are having more luck with it than I am I don't know anyway I'll let you guys go bye okay 
So I feel like I sound like a broken record at this point, like with all of my check-ins. So I'm gonna try and not repeat myself as much. Um, this is officially my last check-in. Yesterday was day six. Um, I filmed like my outro or whatever, telling you about it, but then I was like, I feel like I'm just repeating myself. So, yes, my thoughts are the same. Um, if you want it, try it. I personally don't see that big of a difference um, in my hair. I did the six days like they told me to. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, my hair feels weighed down, which I said before that it was helping manage my hair. Like, my curls were less crazy and frizzy and stuff. I feel like it's because it's weighed down. Like, my hair feels super greasy. Like, I haven't washed it in days. Um, which, that's one of my main things, is now I have to retrain my hair to go multiple days without a wash because I started washing it every day for like a week. Um, I probably could have, you know, waited and done it my normal cycle. But I wanted to do like, as soon as possible, let's see the results. And when I googled it, nobody said that you can't wash it every day. Just that they want it consecutively, the six washes that you're doing, you're supposed to be doing this treatment. So that's what I did. Um, my ends still feel dry and, well, yeah, they're still pretty dry and kind of straggly, but I mean, I don't feel like that's going to fix it anyway. Um, I don't, ooh. yeah, I don't know if you can even tell. I can. I'm also noticing more of my breakage and like everything up around my bang area. Um, I gotta like put it up and it like sticks out right here behind my ears. I'm guessing the breakage is from constantly having my hair behind my ears. I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, like it's soft for the most part. Again, it also feels kind of like greasy. There's definitely like I can feel residue from touching my hair. Um, and I did. I ended up the last two washes using just head and shoulders. Uh, before that I did head and shoulders and then my regular shampoo because I felt like I wasn't... I wanted to make sure that it wasn't just building up products in my hair and that's what was my problem so I used the uh, head and shoulders to completely strip everything out of my hair. Um, and then I was using less of my um, styling products. Um, I stopped using the Olaplex for a couple days. Um, I just did the It's a 10 and my Argan Oil and a bit of the Sol de Janeiro Oil. Um, because you can't use conditioner and my hair definitely needs conditioner. So I was using my conditioning products for afterwards and I feel like it helped a lot. Um, I didn't style my hair, so I don't know if styling your hair would see like a major difference. Sorry, my dog is in here jumping up and down from my bed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't normally style my hair, especially with heat and stuff, because one, I'm lazy, two, I notice a lot of damage when I straighten my hair. And I don't know how to curl my hair. Um, so yeah, normally my hair is just up in like a claw clip um, 
Or is this an alligator clip? I don't know. But yeah, no. The K18, I'm not going to say that it didn't work. I'm just going to say that it didn't work as well as I was hoping for the price. Because it, it, it's $75. And, I mean, yeah, I have a ton left. Um... I'm still going to give it to my friend to see if she notices more of a difference, but I I didn't notice much of a difference. And I think most of my stuff was I was hoping that there was a difference, so I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, but the more I'm like, I don't see much of a difference other than, oh the hair is on my phone, not me. Okay. <laughs> other than, you know, my hair is heavier so it's not as poofy which part of me is like yeah I kind of like that I don't like how it feels but like okay it doesn't look the prettiest either but like I'm happy to not have all of the poof I I hate my curl pattern if it's even a pattern um I don't know so I'll probably get back with you guys after Sybil does it and see if she had any major um, changes. Uh, maybe she'll send me some clips. I don't know. But for right now, I I don't plan on continuing the use. I'm just going to have her do it. Um, I might ask for it back a couple times for the maintenance that they want you to do every three or four washes. I probably won't even do that. I'll probably be like, hey... It's been a couple months. Can I have it back for a couple? Or maybe she'll use it all. I don't know. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts. I'm sorry they're not the best uh, results. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I will see you guys in my next video. I think that's going to be my uh, Taylor Swift unboxing. I, back in November, ordered the red version of the cardigan and I want to say there was one other thing but I can't remember because it was back in November like the beginning of November and it's just now shipping out so it should be here I think today but yeah I will see you guys in the next one bye